You can get a quiz in the on portal. It is a quick one. I'm just saying this for the international students, guys, so don't pay any attention to this. Again, it is a quick one. Is it the methods quiz? Part two. Oh, it's in the future.
Maybe we should be coming close to. All right, so what'd you guys think of the quiz? I tried to delete something at the end and then it like cut me off halfway through it. I see that right now. All right. I'll cut you some slack on that. Hi, right, thank you. Uh oh, you man. All right, so I'm not gonna go over. Okay, it looks like we made some errors here. Uh oh, you been. <laughs> okay, all right, so, all right, if we take a look, I'm gonna share both of these right now. Okay, don't worry. Okay, if you guys, all I want you guys to remember, don't worry. I took this quiz, I did fine. Okay, so. This is what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna share this with you. So this is how I graded it. Okay. Wait, you're still recording. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna pause recording for right. Now. Resume recording. Okay, so that being done. Okay, welcome back. So again, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open. So my last room was um, so my last uh class or whatever. Those were all in the um, como se dice. Those were all in um my office. So I'm gonna start fresh here. Okay. So let me go to the quiz. I already took pictures of that. Okay. So right now, go ahead and write a new one. Uh, no, but uh, but Lance and Logan, where's Logan at? Uh, Lance Logan, uh, the coach of that school. Hold on one second. Here we go. Now we're we're going on our we're on Eclipse. So okay. So what I want you guys to do right now, listen to very carefully. Okay. Listen very carefully to what I'm telling you. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to make two global variables, okay? A string and a double, or a string and an int. Name them anything you want, okay? We're gonna cover a couple of topics today. One you already kind of know, one is just like a common thing that, oh, hold on one second. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, make those two global variables and, name a and make a constructor that initializes those. Do those right now, you have two minutes. Have no fear. Lunch is here. <laughs> you can't have any, Yubin. <laughs> no, Uma, stop looking at my plate. No, Henry, you can't have any of my Coca Cola. <laughs> Can you yeah, give us some cool. ASMR? Oh. So good. I'm pretty sure that's not what it sounds like. Oh. We have some ASMR. Oh my god. Oh. Joaquin. Joaquin, thanks. All right. So here we go. Yeah, awesome. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. So good. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two variables. Okay. Bring name and int uh, age, okay? Now, is it, now let me ask you this, trick question. Is it okay, is it okay to initialize your global variables? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes, but is it common? No. 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 My constructor, public quiz, String name. Now in this, so giving you guys a heads up, when it comes to the constructors or oops, string name, what did I do? So, okay, string name and age. Okay, when it comes to the constructor, so just so you guys are aware, I'm never ever going to tell you 
what order to put these in. Okay. I don't care as long as both are initialized. I'm, you're never going to hear me say, do the string first, then the int, then the double. That's all you got. Okay. So now, um, what would I, how would I do this? What would I, what's the next thing I would do? This dot name equals name. This dot name equals name. Okay. And this dot age equals age. All right. And again, if I don't do the this keyword, what happens? Who can tell me? It goes to null. It goes to null, or if it's a numerical variable, what does it do? It goes to zero. Okay, it goes to zero. Okay, so let me pull this over. Over to here. Come on. Oh, shoot. Okay, perfect. Here we go. All right, so if I'm here in my tester class, the way that I make my objects is I would say quiz a equals new quiz. Right, and I'm going to say John, and I'm going to say comma. Uh, let's say John comma, and then I would do a. Okay, John, new. Uh, I would say new quiz John comma twenty five. Okay, I want you to take a look at something. All right, all right. We specifically want you to take a look at this. Okay, what happens? If I print out a. Take a look at that. Now you guys are going to possibly have different numbers. Who can tell me what they think that is? Who can tell me? Oh, come on. Uh, huh? Come on, Dylan, you should know. Isn't it the hexadecimal representation of John in 25? Uh, close. Is it the pointer? Huh? The, is it the pointer? It close. What it actually is, is it's the memory address in the, of the specific block where it's being stored in your RAM. So basically the pointer. Yeah. OK, well, close. All right, so all right. Now, what this is, it's a representation of the RAM. A lot of times what you'll have in a program is you'll have something called a two string method. Okay, so a two string method is basically a reminder method. It's a reminder method to tell you what the variables were. So for example, you would say public string to string. Okay, and all this is responsible for is this return. And you, you can make up anything you want. The name is plus name plus and age is move this over a little bit. Oh, come on. And the age is plus age. Okay. Boom. All right. So what this does is it returns. Okay. So, oh, so there we go. Whoops, I accidentally. All right. So, the two string method is what we call an overwrite method. It is a special method. I meant to save it. Whoops. Okay. Now, take a look what happens when I print out A. Okay. The name is John and the age is 25. The two string method is a special method in Java that automatically gets called. We will be using a lot of two strings when we get to uh, uh, to array lists, okay? But we're not there yet. But it, the two string, again, it is something that you make because for example, let's say, so actually, you know what? You know what, what I want you to do right now, let's do a little practice so we can see, okay? What I want you to do right now in here, okay? Right here, what I want you to do is I want you to make an array of 10 quiz objects. And I want you to initialize them. Do that right now, take two minutes. You repeat that one more time. Mm -hmm. In your tester class, make an array of 10 quiz objects and then initialize them.
do we have a town hall tomorrow, Lance? What is the town hall? It's not today. Mm -hmm. oh, it's November 3rd. Okay. So, making a, an array of 10 quiz objects. So, what I start off with is okay. All right. So, what I'm going to say is quiz x equals new. Quiz, okay. And I'm going to say 10. All right. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to hold 10 quiz objects. All right. No, we need the brackets. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay. So there. All right. Now this identifies that this is only, this is going to have 10 quiz objects. So take a look what I'm going to do. For int j equals zero. J is less than uh, let's say we can say quiz dot length. Or I'm sorry, x dot length. Okay. And I can say j plus plus. All right. How many of you got to this far? Raise your hand. Okay, good. Now, there is a way. So with each quiz, by what you basically have done. So when we say quiz a equals new quiz, and then et cetera, et cetera. Okay. What we have done is you have basically tackled this portion 10 times. You now have to do this portion, okay? So for example, the best thing to do if I wanted to by default is and now I could say quiz, or I could say x index j equals, and all I have to do now is use the constructor. New quiz. Open parentheses. The first parameter is a string, and the second parameter I'm just going to do j. Okay. So now what I've done is I have just made my array of ten things. Now, if I wanted to print out each one, okay. So technically, uh, I could do. Let's say a random. I'll give you guys one more minute. Make each, make each one a random letter. Make the make it a random letter or the one of the, the first letters. Just going to, from A to whatever. I think it's a J. One more minute, because this is all good practice. Say card. Oh, no, you can't do that. How many of you got that? Good job, Yuvin. Nice. Who else got it? Dylan, Gary, nice. Okay. And then what I can do is I can simply Oh, whoops, sorry. Hold on. R. R A plus. Why is this doing this? Oh, car A plus. 
The parentheses, the parentheses should be around car instead of J. Huh, what's that? The parentheses should be in, uh, around car, not J. Hold on. You're right. And sorry, there we go. That should be there. Perfect. Okay. So we have ten random objects stored. Okay. So what we've done is we've just created an array of objects, right? The key thing that they're going to test you on, on the AP, is your knowledge that when you make this array of quiz objects, that you know that in order to initialize them, you just need to use the constructor, OK? That's all you have to do. I have some people that will do this, OK? Some people will do this. Um, so we, the first two lines are okay, but what they will do is this, quiz uh, C equals new quiz uh, B comma J. What they will then do is they will then do C. Still the same thing, right? Okay. Still the same thing, but is this line necessary? No. Not really, because you can kill two birds with one stone with the constructor, okay? Now, is this right, Thanos? Could, if you did it this way, could I legally mark you off? No. What is the only way, think of a question, Thanos, that I would probably ask, uh, where, where I could mark you off, where I would tell you there's a penalty. What possible thing could I do? What possible thing could I do? Eon, what possible thing would I ask you possibly not to do? Just to make it simply uh, B comma G, let's say. Oh, no, yeah. no. Uh. So more than likely what you would hear me say in order to avoid a penalty is I would more than likely say, avoid creating a separate object. Okay, just use the constructor. Okay, that is probably what you would hear me say. Okay, so right now what I also want you to do just really quickly before we get started is what I want you to do right off the bat, go ahead and make a, a quick default constructor. Oh, have you guys ever seen that show Selling Sunset? I sat next, I went to, um, I went to Il Porneo last night in Beverly Hills and I sat next to the blonde chick who's on that show. <laughs> oh God, she's a train wreck. <laughs> Please don't ever turn out like her guys. She makes me want to eat my own soul. Say that about like me too. <laughs> You said that about me too. That's true. What did you say, Yubin? Aren't they like all blondes? Uh, no, there's a brunette. Wait a minute, Yubin, you're a blonde. I'm a fake one. I know that, I didn't want to say it though. All right, so, okay. Default constructor again. Public is okay, and then name equals null, age equals zero, whatever, some random number if you want to. Okay, default constructor. How many of you were able to get that? Good guys, these are the things. Remember, I was telling you guys the goal of my the goal of this is that it, this is, you're so fast at this that you're just bored. Like, okay, give us a harder one, give us a harder one. But some of you guys, you're already like that. For some of you, you think you are and you're not quite that good, <clears throat> Dylan. All right, so, <laughs> so let's go now. So quick question, this is the default constructor. Who remembers Uma? 
What was this constructor called? Wasn't that the like overloaded? Mm. Very good. Yay. Yay, the overloaded. Okay, so now. Let's mess with the age, okay? So we're going to say public int age gap, okay? And we're going to say int x, okay? Now I have an error. What, okay, why do I have an error? If you see a method like this, okay? Uh, let's see, Lance. You see a method like this, there's an error. Right off the bat, what are you missing? Why is there an error? You should know right away. What does it not have? Quickly. Uh, Come on. A void? No! Alex. Know. A return? A return. Anytime you see that, the, that this return type is anything but void, because if I do void, you're fine. But if I have a return type that's something other than void, guess what? It needs a return of that type. Okay, so in this, in this term, I'm going to return age, okay? For right now, I don't care, okay? Uh, or I can even say age plus equals x, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? But I want you to now take a look at this. Public int age gap bring x okay public int age gap string x what am i returning an int an int you sure yeah why because so you're taking in a string but then returning an int okay very good okay most of you guys got this concept but i teach this again in order to solidify the rules okay even though i am taking in or i'm returning it or i'm taking in a string it has no bearing on what i am actually returning so i can just say return age and that is fine you're going to have a lot of methods that are like that but most importantly this right here these two methods in general are examples of what what concept Yubin, what concept is this? I don't know, casting? No. Look at these two. Think of the constructors. Think of the similarities construct. Gary. Overloaded. Overloading. These methods are overloaded methods, OK? They're overloaded methods. And the reason they're overloaded, remember this, same name, different parameters. Same name, different parameters. Now take a look at what I'm gonna do to you also. This is where people also get mess, messed up. You won't see the error, but I will put this. Okay. Take a look. I will go after you on a test. I will go after you on a quiz for something like this, okay? I will go 100% at you saying, saying, why are these overloaded methods wrong? Are they overloaded? Yes. No, they're not. No, it returns a different Same thing. name and same parameter. The return type doesn't matter. All that matters is the parameters in the name, just this portion. If they match, it uh, you could care two less. I could even just do void, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? You cannot have the same name and same parameters. The return types don't matter. So in this class, we have covered, okay, we've both gone over the overloaded constructor. We've gone over default and the default constructor. We learned about the two string method, okay? The two string method, if I ever tell you guys, write a two string method that just lists out what the global variables are for an object. You should know, again, you can name this anything. I could just say name is, age is. You can, you can format it, but generally it's just one return statement. Generally it's just one 
return statement, but you have to use the name to string with no parameters. And I've taught you how to create an array of objects as well. Okay. So we did a lot. We covered a lot. Okay. Now, because of this, because of everything that we covered, I, the homework that I was going to give you changed. Okay. Now here's the thing. Also, I'm not going to see you for four days. Usually this makes Eon sad. Okay. But it makes me happy. So for four days, I'm not going to see you. Also remember that uh, I am pushing your test back. What does this mean? Your test will be harder. There is a possibility your test will not be any multiple choice questions. It will just be two short answer questions. What does that mean for me? It means that I get to laugh as I'm adding all the errors up. We already know a couple people in this class don't like to listen to my rules and create their own rules regarding global variables. We won't show the name of such girl who's Korean with blonde hair, but we will agree that, you know, that is such, okay? And then there's Lance who just apparently just doesn't like to follow my instructions at all. So that being said, <laughs> oh, two blondes. Hmm. So <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> all right. So. That being said, I will, I've got to go through the other class, guys. This class was great so far as a fun class. Um, Rewatch this because this goes over value information. And I cover it really well. I was going to have a, um, I was going to have a review tonight, but I got to see that shit show on tonight of the uh, debate. So there's no Dodger game. I wonder if that's the way, the reason they did that or whatever, no playoff game, but as you guys know, don't even ask me about it on Tuesday. I don't talk about politics. I can give two craps. Coding works whoever's in office. All right. So don't even ask me, but we can laugh about it. All right. So that being said, have a great day. Your homework assignment will be on later tonight. And because you have four days, this one might be more difficult. Okay. All right. And the reason why is because Gary Wu is what we would call lazy. So I got to make sure that he stays on top of his game. All right, guys. I know this is your favorite class. And now you guys got to go to your boring one. So have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>